Let me teach you how to download and install complementary Unbound for Minecraft 1.21. Let's go ahead and begin installing these beautiful shaders. Now, the first step to download and install complementary shaders 1.21 is to click the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install complementary shaders. Over here, feel free to read through the guide. However, if you just want to follow along the video, let's scroll down to step one and click where it says download. That redirects you over here where you're going to scroll down until you see 1.21 in the game version right here for the files. Once you see 1.21, click on these little three dots and click download file and within five seconds your download will begin for the complementary shaders and while the shaders are downloading let me let you know about today's sponsor apex hosting if you're looking for a minecraft server either a java or a bedrock server a server that is open 24 7 and you could have your friends join at any moment because you don't need to pull forward your ip address or keep your computer on well then apex hosting is perfect for you they'll give you 25 percent off if you use the first link in the description you could get your server set up in less than five minutes and even add mod packs with just a click of a button something that i personally love about apex hosting besides them having locations all around the world is that you could use your phone to set up the server and control your server console at any given moment. That means that you can kick people out, change the settings of your server whenever you want and all of that for 25% off using the first link in the description. Once that's said, let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, as you can see, complementary shaders just downloaded. So let's go ahead and try and drop it into our desktop. Now, this is a zip file. And if you already have some type of shader loader in your computer like Iris or Optifine, just go ahead and add these shaders into your shader pack folder and you're done. You could finish this video. But I'm assuming, however, that most of you don't have any shader loader and you will need a shader loader if you want to use shaders. So let's go ahead and download Iris. Click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Iris. Pretty simple. But again, if you just want to follow along, scroll down to step one and click download Iris here. I'll redirect you over here where you're going to click download now. And then over here, you're going to click download universal jar that is going to download or begin the download for the installer of Iris. So once that downloaded the installer, go ahead and try and drop it to your desktop, just like we did with the zip file previously for complementary. Now we have everything we need to begin. So the next step will be to make sure that our Minecraft game, as well as our Minecraft launcher is 100% closed. Make sure it's completely closed and make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21 at least once in your computer. So once you make sure everything is closed, just right click on the iris installer click open with and click java right here you shouldn't have any issues opening the iris installer the only issue that i could think of is that you don't have java 21 in your computer and no i'm not talking about minecraft java i'm talking about java as the programming language that will allow you to open jar files now here's the thing after minecraft got updated to 1.20.5 it now requires you to have java 21 install in order for you to open any jar files to install mods and stuff so if you don't have java 21 i'm gonna go ahead and leave this guide in the description on how to download and install java 21 it's literally pretty simple you just download java open the installer and click next a couple of times and you have java 21 installed just make sure that after you install java 21 you go over to auto remove programs and you get rid of your older javas so you don't have any issues anyways let's assume that you were able to open the installer you already installed java 21 and whatnot and now all you have to do is select 1.21 and click install after a couple seconds iris will be installed as you can see down here it already says completed so let's go ahead and close it and now we could even delete the installer guys just go ahead and delete it and go ahead and open your minecraft launcher now when the minecraft launcher opens if we install iris properly we should see it here selected automatically also something else you can do if you don't see iris in there is just head over to installation and make sure that modded is selected as you can see without modded you won't see iris in here so make sure modded is selected and something else you could do is just click on new installation and where it says version just look for iris in here which should be one of the recent ones name this whatever you want like for example i'm gonna name mine apex hosting of course you can name yours whatever you want and then click create here on the bottom right anyways once you found iris in here just go ahead and hit play on it and wait for it to load now once minecraft loaded all we have to do now is launch a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer world because shaders will work in both single player and multiplayer worlds i'm gonna go ahead and launch this world that i have right here again if you need a multiplayer world or your own server go ahead and use that first link in the description to get 25 percent off with apex hosting now we're here in the world and as you can see we already got shaders but i'm actually gonna go ahead and take them off and if you're wondering how i just did that i just press the letter k on my keyboard and it takes the shaders off okay so once you're over here in the world, and I'm actually going to increase my FOV because that's driving me crazy. So once you're here in the world, I want you to go ahead and hit escape, head over to options and now click on video settings. And as you can see, this menu now has changed and you do have the shader packs option here on the top. Go ahead and click on shader packs. And in here, you're probably going to see this empty. I already have complementary in there because those are my go to shaders. However, you probably don't have anything in here. What you're going to do is click where it says open shader pack folder and that is going to open a folder that most likely will be empty i'm actually going to delete my shaders right so this is most likely what your folder is going to look like 
go ahead and minimize the game and just go ahead and drag and drop that zip file that we downloaded earlier into this folder, which are the complementary and bound shaders. And if you have any other shader, this is your moment to drag and drop it into this folder. Just leave it as a zip file. You don't have to unzip it. Close this folder, head back into Minecraft, and now you should see complementary and bound right here. Go ahead and click on it. Click apply. Give it a second for it to load as it's not going to load immediately. It all depends on your computer. Go ahead and click on done, done, done back to the game and as you can see we now have some beautiful shaders in minecraft 1.21 now guys something pretty cool about iris shaders like i was saying earlier is that you could just press the letter k on your keyboard and as you can see everything would be taken away and if you press it again all the shaders will come back on okay so that's another way that you could do this and also if you press the letter o instead it will open directly over here your shader packs menu so you don't have to go through the whole setting thing you could just press o and see the whole menu in here anyways guys that has been everything from me today i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe i'm trying to get to 100 000. so please subscribe right now okay i'm going to be posting a lot of tutorials everything that you need is going to be here so subscribe and as always bye bye